Hi, boys and girls. I'm Miss Daniel. I'm so excited that we're going to spend a little time together talking about good manners. The most important part of having good manners is what? I bet many of you guessed it. It's being kind, being kind to everyone. So right now, I'm gonna read a short book to you called I Can Be Kind, and then I'm going to introduce you to someone very important. I Can Be Kind, a book by Amy Carlson. And I'll show you all the pictures as best I can. I can use kind words and include others. Looks like someone's coming over. I can do my chores and not complain. Raise your hand if you have chores at your house. My children have chores. I can't say that they love them, but they do have chores. I can wait my turn and let others go first. I want you to be thinking about a time where you let someone else go first. When have you let someone else go first? Maybe on the playground, maybe in line to get water, always important. I can say please and thank you every time. Looks like their mom is bringing them some cookies. Yummy. Please and thank you. I tell my girls they are some of my favorite words. I can help when someone needs a hand. I love this picture because oftentimes when we think of helping, we think of our mom and dad at home, or we think of people in our classroom. This young girl might be helping her grandfather or a neighbor. It's important to help everyone. I can go to bed with a good attitude. Bedtime is often the least favorite time of day especially in the wonderful summer months when it's bright outside and there's so much to do. But you wanna end the day on a good note. So make a decision to go to bed with a good attitude. Having good manners means being kind. Here are some ways you can show good manners. Use kind words. Say please and thank you. Help someone in your neighborhood or at school, or if you see someone in the grocery store, if you're with your parents, just help someone. Wait your turn. Have a good attitude. Don't interrupt and always say, excuse me. This is Catherine the Mannerly Cat. She comes to all of the classes when I teach four, five, and six-year-olds. She does great work. She knows how to set a beautiful table and she has a great necklace. I wanna tell y'all that she'll be with me when I talk to you over the next few sessions. If you have something you want to talk to her about, just let me know and I will be happy to try my best to include it in the lesson. I look forward to seeing all of you and remember the most important part of good manners is being kind. Bye.